was one of the first people to see the Zapruder film, the 26-second home movie that captured President Kennedy's assassination. Tonight, Dick Stoley, who now lives in Santa Fe, presented his own documentary on the subject. Here's News 13's Amanda Goodman. It was looking back, I think, the single most dramatic moment of my career. Fifty years later, Dick Stoley has been reliving that moment over and over on media outlets around the country. On this, the 50th anniversary of President John F. Kennedy's assassination. The Life magazine editor, who now lives in Santa Fe, was among the first to see the now infamous Zapruder film. We were in a small room. Uh, no sound, this crickety old 8 millimeter projector, and he was beaming it up against the nearby whitewashed wall. Stoley flew to Dallas after learning of Kennedy's death. He tracked down the film after getting a tip that a local clothes maker caught the president's assassination on his home movie camera. I'd never been to Dallas before, looked in the phone book, ran my finger down the Z's, and there it was. Zapruder, Abraham, and the phone number. He worked out a deal with Abraham Zapruder, getting the magazine the exclusive rights to the video. They printed it in still frames. I promised him that life would not exploit the film. Tonight, Stoley is again sharing his story, this time in the form of his own film, to a crowd at the Lenzik Theater here in downtown Santa Fe. When we saw that for the first time ever, uh, three of us. A chorus. He says to this day, the film astonishes him, telling News 13 even after 50 years, he still can't get used to it. In Santa Fe, Amanda Goodman, KRQE News 13. Time Life paid $150,000 for the rights to the Subruder film. Stoley would later become the first editor of People magazine.